Pete is no longer Pete. Pete is Petra. Pete is a reversi. What does this mean? It means that he can have a fat rack of titties if he wants. And now someone specifically said last video in the comments, he better not make Oliver's horn writhe. Y'all are fucking wilding out. This is an interesting twist. I, I like this better than the Sundere boy Pete who is just so reclusive. This is at least actually more fun. Let's begin today's reaction though. Team fights. So... Usually in like Quidditch or like even in MASH, they're versing the Quidditch, you know. They throw balls and shit, but they're literally just hitting them with different sticks. Yes, Nana would slay up there. She fucking used a spell blade up there, bro. Oh. Who is this dude? I think we might have seen him last episode. What are you? Okay. Nobody asked for your... Like, wh why are you here? That I kind of agree with. Why is he here starting shit? Look at the way he's wearing his robe. Again. Real soon. Why? Does, was he from the club? From the last episode? This teacher is one of the targets, right? I forget exactly which teachers are involved, but I'm pretty sure this one is also in. I can't remember. Pete versus this guy? What are the odds? I- oh, shit. Alright, Pete, whatever. Fuck you too, then. I hope you lose. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he's gonna win, though. He's getting too provoked by him. Dirty play. Is that allowed? I don't know. He technically beat him in footwork. Uh, he stepped on it, but I don't know if that's... I don't know. Is that illegal? Why is he so provoked? What happened? Other than the brief encounter in the beginning. Princess. He knows about the secret, but so what? I guess being known as a reversi is kind of... Taboo? I don't know where they're going with this. But I think at this rate, Pete will have to turn into Petra. We'll turn into a girl. You know how the girl mode is better with some different magic? And then he, and then Petra will beat that guy. That would be kind of poetic. Again, bro? You want to sit down with us and eat? Like, what is your deal? I doubt it. I don't even know who you are still. Go away. Look at the way Mr. Rossi wears his robe. He thinks he's so cool. Look, half of it's like sliding down, but I get it. It's kind of fashionable, all right? Huh. What are you? What are you trying to? What are you trying to do, bro? Found out what? Nah, now or Oliver? I mean, bro, if you don't have a spell blade, just sit the fuck down. Maybe he does have one though. I mean, I'm kind of down, cause like this makes a really fun situation where people might start dueling. Okay. I don't know who that guy is, but she's the one that's from the distant uh, McFarlane family, right? Interesting new first years. Can that now join? Nah, you're just quite, you already won. It's not fair. Is she allowed? Okay. Oh. But he also has no... Like, if he wanted to really go all out, obviously he used spellblades and shit, but he can't reveal he can use spellblades, right? That is such suspicion on the teachers. Oh, he made an entire... He was ready for this, bro. <laughs> My man is so organized. You really sure you want to do this? Bro, are you sure? Alright. Clapper, bro. Her aim is shit, but she fires fast. That's her entire thing. These are self-proclaimed titles. Oh my god, clap her right now, clap her. Fucking seven spellblade right now. Somehow that felt racially charged. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, spellblader. Oh shit. I can't believe she's doing this. What an idiot. You think you can beat Nano? Maybe she has a trick up her sleeve. No, it's not about keeping your distance. You can't keep your distance. She'll close it in an instant. I don't give a fuck, bro. Nana will cut space and time like two episodes ago. She's 100% gonna win, right? 
Oh, I got my eyes. There's something in it. Worst time ever. Oh, God. Again, she's redirecting everything. Ah, oh, something's in my eye, guys. Oh, God. Get fucked. You should have fucking died there. Owned. Two second duel. Oh, God, my eyes, bro. That skill of redirecting, you know, magic is insane. Like, does she know what she's doing? Ah, uh, don't say that shit. <laughs> don't say that shit. <laughs> That's a nice thing to say, but you're kind of tripping flag. Not dead flag, but we'll see. Oh, bodyguard. The lolly bodyguard. Tea time with their brother and sister. But it's not actual brother and sister, right? I hear that they're actually cousins? Or at least someone said that in the comments. Oh. Got an Ada. Who is this? Oh, it's the womb girl again. You know, it's the girl that just fucking gave birth in front of. <laughs> Are we on first name basis now? Okay. Oh, I'm in the mood though. What, what's going on here? Yeah, her perf isn't her perfume just literally her body odor? Ophelia. Wow. First name basis with a senpai. Okay. I'm a fan of you, to be honest. That, that, that's very true. They don't even know that we can use Spellblades yet, either. Yo, Oliver could have definitely used a Spellblade against the Garuda, right? But if he did again, there'd be witnesses, and it, it just ri raises so much suspicion. Okay. Alright. Oh, what's some skin shit? Oh, oh, oh. Lean in. Lean in, bro. Why not? Why don't you stay with us? Huh? Is that a warning? What's happening the next few months? What do you mean? Interesting dialogue there at the end. This is... We call her Sister Shannon, but... It, and we call him Brother Gwyn, but they're not actually brother-sister, right? Cousins? I think? Did someone lie to me in the comment section? I just realized Shannon kind of looks like she has cat ears. You know, her hair? Yes. She cut time and space, bro. I don't know how that actually worked. But she did it. She was crazy. And the crazy shit is... That wasn't even the crazy part of the episode. The, the crazy shit is what Oliver did after. She's a natural born leader. Like Oliver's mom. Yep, the broom chose her too. Same. <laughs> change the very essence of who you are. You think that maybe she could change Oliver's mind about the whole revenge plot and go a different path? Maybe, I don't know. I, I, I'm all down for vengeance burning the school down, but... Maybe there's a better path that Nanao could lead us to? He really trying to ambush us right now in the labyrinth, bro? All right, no one's watching. Spellblade his ass. Kill him. Yeah, like, where did you even come from, bro? I don't even know who you are. I'm sorry, he's the main character. At least he's being honest, right? At least he's being honest. You don't think Oliver's cute? What? <laughs> Spellblade is ass right now. No one's watching. There's no witnesses. Spellblade is ass. I hope he gets his ass fucking wiped. Ah. So dirty. So dirty, dude. You know, he speaks. Like, he talks a lot of shit. But he seems kind of competent, huh? Hmm. Wait, hand? Glove? Isn't that cheating, kind of? I mean, it's not a fair duel, right? He clearly stated it. I'm telling you, bro. He's in blade distance. Spell blade him. But if we do that, you know, anti lethality and shit, right? He would survive. He'd be a witness. He'd be bad. He is a pretty good street fighter, though. It sucks that he's fucking winning somehow right now, but come on, bro. Now we're really getting our ass fucking beat. Are you serious? 
I want Oliver to grab his fucking mask, the leader mask that he wore two episodes ago. Put it on. Force Spellblade his ass right now. The fact that we can't see his eyes right now maybe tells me some shit's about to go down. Oh! Oh, yeah, we were. We're shit, shit, we're shit talking. Uh, uh, okay, let's count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. That's actually that's almost eight, right? That that. If he ends now, this is the eighth hit. My man got MMA training too. Knock him out. Break his arm. Nah. Oh. Right back at you. What? Where'd you cut? Where'd you cut? That was pretty much it. I didn't expect him to block with the gauntlet late. Because that's what he did to us. But damn. Uno reverse cut. Where we cut though? Blood was drawn, but... Ugh. Fine. Looks like it's not a serious cut. Maybe this guy is kind of just like Mr. Andrews, you know? Maybe... We can be friends in the future. Maybe he just really wants a close group of friends. You know, he came over to us during the eating time and stuff. Wasted potential? Oh, wait, wait. We're hyping up now. Oh, fuck! Yo, we're gonna be friends at this rate, aren't we? <laughs> He's, no. The way that this dialogue is going, this is a classic example of enemies turning into friends. And I think he wants some friends, bro. <laughs> oh, who knows how ridiculous his childhood was, right? Oh, you don't even know half of it, bro. Oh, wait till he's him in the mask. <laughs> she was watching? The Kudere no Oli, dude. Ah, oh, God, I love Kudere so much. This girl, too. It looks like she's a cat girl or something, or a dog girl because of her hair. Whoa. 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 No killing you! Wait, what are you... What are you talking about? I'll be honored to be your... You want him to cut you! She's getting horny at the thought of... We want to use the whetstone, a carving, knife, blade! <laughs> She's breaking character. No, what do you mean? You just said you want to be used as our whetstone, bro. I think she wants to be abused. <laughs> this is a new one for me. I don't think I've ever seen... Well, we've never seen her quirk yet. Like, what is she really about? I guess she's that, huh? Started the episode hating Mr. Rosie, but near the end, I feel like there's potential for friendship. Many in, many times in anime, we uh, the people that we initially fight are kind of enemies with eventually becoming our allies. And I think he's going to be a classic example of that. In fact, a discussion about how he admires his talent is making me feel like at the end there, at the end of the scene, like I don't want him to lose anymore. I don't know, man. Mr. What's her name? Karsten or something? The lolly bodyguard? The Kuzade lolly bodyguard actually broke character. She did. I said, I want to be used as your whetstone. Please use me as a rag and just throw me away. She fucking wild. She is wild. She is horny. But I like her. She's pretty funny. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. So until next time, take care.